to have a look at this pen. What is this? Jinhao 992. I have reviewed very similar versions. Lingmo Lorelei, Monteverde Monza, all variations on a theme. I've also done a shootout between the three pens, but then I was asked to do a separate review on just this pen. Why not? What are we looking at? Simple Chinese pen by Jinhao. I've always been fairly partial when it comes to Jinhao pens. I'm just thinking, I don't think I've really ever had a bad experience with Jinhao. Pretty reliable. Some of them are so incredibly inexpensive, it's almost shameful, um, but pretty nice writers. These pens, whether it's this one, the Lingmo, the Monteverde, all very much inspired on Sailor pens. They all are slightly different. They all are fairly similar too. They have minor differences, hence the shootout, but for now we're just going to look at this pen. Simple pen, comes with a converter, comes with a steel nib, uh, has some, some nice things going for it. So I think we should just not waste any more time. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with the Jinhao 992. Let's, let's first look at the parts. Finial on top, quite simple, clear plastic, I like that. A nice clip, clip is pretty springy. Uh, yeah, pretty springy. Clear cap, which is nice, you can clearly see the nib, the feed, all that stuff, which I, I do enjoy. On the center band here, it says Jinhao, and on the back it says nothing. Barrel tapers down, has a little end plug there, plug there, which I think stops you from really um, uh, making a um, making the pen eyedropper. And as you can see, I've heard these pens are prone to cracking. I haven't even dropped this, and there's a crack already. Um, so there is that. Now the good thing is, of course, that these pens are very very affordable. But we'll come back to that in a second. Cap unscrews, pen posts, makes for a very nice size, I would say, not, not heavy, it's mainly plastic, uh, but a nice, comfortable size to use. Unposted, it's a bit smaller, but I can use it unposted without issue too. Section, tapers down, flares out a little bit, and it's a very, very clear plastic, which I think is actually quite cool, because you can see Try to get that a bit closer. You can really see the nib in there and the ink and the feed. It's really quite nice. Also, this model, as opposed to some of the other models like the, the Monza and such, if I remember correctly, this model actually has a nib collar, so you can unscrew the entire nib unit, which is kind of neat because it means you can clean easily under this. Little O-ring there, and then you have this this I'm sorry, but Lamy type uh, converter. It's not. It's not a Lamy uh, uh, converter, but the, the fact that this is flat, it's definitely inspired by Lamy. Um, but it works. Draws up ink. The pen uh, functions. I mean, it, it it does what it's supposed to do. So a simple pen, but also uh, a, a a simple price. And I mean, I, I do think that is that is uh, really uh, uh, not that bad. I am. Um, uh, I saw these uh, on eBay for as low as $1.53, so I mean for under $2 you really can't complain too much. So it's really not bad, I think. Now let's, let's do a bit of a writing sample, let me uh, zoom out just a tiny bit. Paper is Rhodia, here we have the Jin, 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 I'm not sure if that's entirely correct, Jin, anyway, Jin Hao 992. I used to do this as a European, but I was corrected by the Canadian Post Office, so 992. Um, the ink is Waterman. I'm not at all complaining, by the way. I'm just saying that. The ink is Florida Blue, which is now, I think, called Serenity, but I call it Tifcaf. The ink, formerly known as Florida Blue. Um, nice ink. Simple pen. Guess what? Writes properly. No real issues. Smooth, not particularly skippy or anything. I mean, it just it's just what it's supposed to do. You feel that it's a very light pen because of the uh, all the plastic. Couple of skips, but I don't think anyone writes this quickly. I think if you stick to a normal writing pace, it shouldn't really be an issue. Um, 
wetness. Not super wet, but nicely tuned. Line variation, as always, very, very careful, but you can squeeze out a little bit of line variation if you are very careful. For those of you who enjoy such a thing, there is reverse writing, but as you can see, it is not very successful with this pen. It runs dry and the writing disappears. So, there you have it, the Jinhao 992, a simple, unassuming pen, but guess what? It does what it's supposed to do, and that's right. So, no complaints there. Let's move on to what I like about it, and what I not like about it. Okay, what do I like, what do I not like about the Jinhao 992? Guys, it's an inexpensive pen. It's inexpensive, it's, it, it, it does what it's supposed to do, it writes, it's not particularly unpleasant to write with. So, what more could you ask for? I have seen more expensive pens that either wouldn't ink up, or that wrote terribly, or whatever. It's really not that bad. You have to look around a little bit, but as I said, you can find them on eBay for about $153, $152. I'm making weird noises. I mean, what, what can you say, right? It's a pen, and it will write. A couple of things I don't like so much. Um, definitely very inspired by Sailor. I don't really approve of that. I mean, you can also try to design something by yourself. Um, but th this is the world we live in. You see the same thing with the Lamy type converter. This is the world we live in. If you really don't condone of that, don't buy it. Um, that's what it boils down to. The one thing that concerns me a little bit is stress fractures uh, and, and weird cracks. I mean, you can see there is a, a crack right up there. Um, that wasn't there. I take it out of a drawer, suddenly it's cracked. We've seen similar things uh, with other brands. Uh, um, uh, for example, Twisby comes to mind. There have been cracking issues with, with that brand, uh, at least in the past. You see that here too. Uh, but hey, it is a cheaper pen. Now, does that mean it should break on you? Obviously not. Even if it's a $1.50 pen, you still expect it to perform properly and not just crack by, you know, being looked at. Having said that, it's a pen and it writes. If you want to make someone enthusiastic about fountain pens, that would work. It is a simple pen. It, I mean, it will do what you expect it to do. Um, what can I say? It works. So there is that. I think it's it's really not that bad. I I, uh, I, I think it's it's a cute, fun pen. Thanks a lot to Bill for sending me the pen. I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Bye.